Hey guys, so before we start today's video, I wanted to show you, because I'm so proud of her, um, I had a lovely woman, Bunny, come over to do pours, and she wanted to work on ring pours, how to get cells, look at those cells, it's just amazing. And she wanted to do one of my um, my stretched flower pours. So those are, this is, whoops, almost fell over. That is her art that she did. How beautiful is that? So I just wanted to show you guys that before I started the painting today because I'm really proud of her. Good job, Bunny. All right, see you guys in a sec. Hey, you guys, it's Molly. I am going to be doing an ocean pour and then swiping a jellyfish. And in the colors of the jellyfish, I do have a little bit of silicone. So I'm gonna start with, um, I think I'll do my darker colors up top. So I've got some Payne's Gray. This can paint consistency is like in between um, a Dutch pour and my regular pours for thickness. So this blue is that blue that, I'm gonna have more of it down here, is the blue that um, I ended up making out of that scraping off the table for that hurricane pour that I did, the Cat 5. Okay, There's a little bit of dark down there, but most of it I'm gonna do up here. So the jellyfish, I'm just gonna swipe. I'm gonna use a palette knife to move these colors around, swipe some white over it to give kind of the semblance of um, underwater. And then I'll do the jellyfish. Now it's not gonna be like that regular jellyfish kind of uh, shape, um, but people have really liked these when I've done them. So and you guys, I'm still getting over something, so please excuse my voice. Okay, so let me start by swiping all these. I'll wipe that off. And then I'll tilt it to get what's on my sides. So I'm gonna tilt for now. And this does not have to be perfect by any means. This part, this is just gonna be the background Kind of pretty the way that it is, huh? Okay, now let me get, oh, that didn't go over that side. Can you guys see over there? Did I get my sides? Let me look. Nope, not quite. Tilt some more that way. How am I looking? Good, I got those. Come down here. I'm trying not to cough at you guys. Cover that little piece. So yeah, this is just kind of like a an in-between consistency. I know you guys can't see it, just give me a second. And then I'm gonna come in and swipe some white and hopefully get some like, almost like bubble-like areas. But the white, this white has no silicone in it. So I'm just gonna, I've already got some pretty lacing that's up there. So let me swipe that on through. All right, I had to get my paper towels. This is Creative Inspirations White. So you don't want your colors to muddy when you swipe them like this, so. And see, just from swiping with no silicone, I'll get some of those little bubbles coming up. Just the paint densities kind of doing their thing. The 
Creative Inspirations, I've noticed lately, has been very cell reactive with not too much on it, but this is like a lot. I'm wondering if I had maybe some silicone on here from before. Either way, this is really, really pretty. I'm loving these, those bubbles that came up through there. My spatula might have had some silicone on it. I was, uh, I did a lesson earlier today and we were working in silicone. Bunny, hi Bunny, if you're watching. She's a lovely lady that came down from Miami to have a class with me. Okay, I'm liking this. Just wanna give some kind of semblance of motion. Okay, so now I'm gonna put, so I'm gonna have the head kind of right here. And then, gosh, I hate to get rid of those tendrils that are right there. Hmm. Okay. So I will do the head right up here. And I just draw it in with my palette knife normally. My popsicle stick. So there's the head. And inside the head, I always like to have some funky, cool colors, and then I'll mix those around as I go. Uh, this stick had to have had silicone on it, but the cells that are popping up are absolutely amazing. I'm gonna give it kind of a 3D shape, so I'm just drawing this around in there. Oops, you don't wanna take the paint off. See, I had that darker base color underneath there, and that's gonna help give it the shape. And then we'll just, this part's always like, cause jellyfish are kind of see-through, you know? Okay, so I've got that part. Now I'm gonna drizzle a little bit I know I'm gonna get somebody that's like, why did you ruin those perfectly good cells that were in there? And my response to you is gonna be, because I can. It's just a painting. And I'll always paint over it. And then I'm gonna come in with some of this, and you guys will see what happens when I swipe through here. Then I'm gonna come in with the aqua, which I'm really liking. And then this phthalo blue, which hopefully you guys will see it come to shape. What I mean by this Okay, now I'm gonna take another popsicle stick. Gosh, that's really, really pretty. Take a popsicle stick, swipe that down, and there they go, all my little cells are popping up. So cool. I like to crisscross them over sure that that paint goes back down through there so that there's no canvas showing. Make sure you're wiping your stick off when you do it. All those really cool colors are coming out every time I swipe. Get a little bit more pink on my stick. And then for this inside portion, I might do a little bit of 
white because the head, I'm not like super loving the head. But you know how they have some of those little small ones that are like dribbling down. That is the only part that I want to work on a little bit. Get it more into like a swiped. There we go. And then if you wanted to, you could come back in and shade this a little bit afterwards. So I don't like that pink that showed up right there. Break that pink off and put some more of this blue, I think, right here. <coughs> Excuse me. There we go. I like that better. <coughs> And then I'll come back in here. So I just wanted to show you guys something a little bit different that you could do with pour art. It doesn't always have to be just some poor thing on the canvas, you know? really really cool it almost looks like octopus legs so I do really really big ones of these and I'll probably come back in and just touch this up a little bit with the brush this part right here but you I'm gonna leave the cells the way that they are so here let me take you in so you can see it so that's where I swiped I am convinced that I had some silicone in there but that's where I swiped at the very beginning. And then that's the jellyfish. Let's see if you can. And then I'll show you the close up of the cells and the tendrils. Kind of looks like an octopus, right? I really liked the original pour, but I think that this is. Gosh, you can't get it except this way, huh? I really think that, and I'll show you guys once it's dry as well, I think. So kind of busy, but super cool to me, in my opinion. A little jellyfish. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. Yep, the painting. Bye. Okay, you guys, I'm going to turn it this way. My little jellyfish didn't turn out that bad at all. There's the top portion that's actually dried in a day. There's all those little bubbles. There's the head formation. And then there's all those little cells. Again, it's a little busy in the middle, but I'm actually really happy with him. Let me see if I can get him all in frame. I think he's really cool. You guys can let me know if you like him. Sorry, I'm gonna probably make you dizzy this way. But I really like just the tiny little bit of cells that's in there. All right, thank you guys for watching. Happy painting. Bye.